Joining us today is certified arborist Brian Eshelman from Eshelman Tree Service. Well, we have an elm tree here that has a severe wound in the back and sadly we need to take it out. But before we do that, I want to talk about safety. Um, when it's safe for a homeowner to take a tree out and what we need to consider before doing that. The, the size and location is the biggest deal for uh, cutting a tree down for a normal person, mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I should say. Uh, you want to look at what's around that you're going to damage mm -hmm. if there is something that's going to damage so if we have a japanese maple over here we don't want to hurt we also have a bamboo fence on the other side so you want to make sure where you're going to be cutting also you want to look at is there any power lines around right. mm -hmm. any uh you know anything else that could potentially damage the homeowner you also want to look in the crown and see if there's any broken limbs dead limbs something that might come out when you're cutting it mm -hmm. and hit you uh, we've kind of looked at this tree and we know that that's the only things we've really noticed are the Japanese maple and the, the bamboo fence. Yeah, and in uh, a typical landscape, you might have a garage or it yeah, might be close to the house. Yeah, you have a garage, house, like that. that sort mm -hmm. of thing. We have some plants over here, but I think minimal damage might happen to those, but not, not too much. And they're much the, lower value. Yeah, <laughs> much lower. The other thing is the homeowner. Right. You know, you want to protect yourself, which uh, we have some... Okay. Um, while we're talking about that, what's the size of a tree that would safely be taken out by a homeowner? Is there kind of a diameter that you want to consider? I would say anything, anything bigger than, than 10 inches, you know, you might want to consider hiring a certified arborist or a professional to do that. It also depends on the location too. I mean, the closer to the house you get, the more damage you could possibly cause, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. The closer to lines, all that sort of thing. Absolutely. But my, my, my personal opinion is around 10 inches or, or bigger, mm -hmm. you should consider hiring somebody or at least consulting somebody else. And we always rec uh, encourage never get on a ladder with a oh, chainsaw. Yeah. If it's too high for you, you need to hire somebody. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, uh, these are the, the equipment that I would use mm -hmm. every day. Uh, okay. pers first of all, you should always wear a hard hat if you're doing anything mm -hmm. aloft or anything above your head. You should okay. always have a hard hat, mm -hmm. safety glasses, and earplugs. Okay. Uh, those are things that, the earplugs, especially if you're using a chainsaw, we have a mm -hmm. chainsaw. If you do any chainsaw work on the ground, mm -hmm. you should always have chainsaw chaps on because, okay. you know, you never know what's mm -hmm. going to happen. There's so much potential for kickback and, and hitting yourself in the leg. Uh, yeah, you have gloves here, but gloves are kind gloves of Gloves are not. That's optional. kind of an optional if you, you know, if you want to protect your hands more. Uh, cuts and scrapes are usually what, what happens. They do actually make uh, gloves that are, you know, chainsaw mm -hmm. protective gloves so that, you know, you don't, you don't have to cut your hand. However, I don't understand those because you're always supposed to have two hands on the saw at the right. all time. You want to <laughs> so, be practicing safe exactly, methods. Exactly, safe, safe mm -hmm. methods of cutting, so. And the tools you have, you have your chainsaw. Um, obviously, we want to make sure we have a sharp blade. Yeah, uh, sharp chains. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, that's definitely going to make it a lot safer for you, if you if your stuff is working properly. Correct. Running, cutting mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. uh, the pole saw and the pruner head that I have here, these are the ones that I use. These are professional items. You can pick up some at Lowe's for homeowners. They're different looking than these, but they'll do the same. They have the, the same, same deal. Types they'll do of the heads. Same job. We have yeah. a saw head, or we have a the one they have. The one that head. I've seen most of the time at, at Lowe's and whatnot. The pruner head and the saw head are actually one pole. Correct. I got one on one mm -hmm. side, one on the other. Okay. And they, like I said, they still do the same, same things that we want to do. So before so. we ever start uh, tackling a tree, we want to assess it, make sure yeah. it's safe for us to take down, and then of course make sure we have all the proper equipment. Exactly. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh.